Hey, happy Tuesday to you guys. It's time with Tiffy. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And welcome to another vlog. We are on day 38 of Bible in One Year, and I'm going to be reading Numbers chapter 1 and chapter 2. I had to go back and read Leviticus, the last few chapters that um, I read yesterday. That was just a lot to take in, so thank you for, to all of you that stuck around with me on that one. That was some serious stuff, and it's just a reminder that God is coming back real soon, and we all need to get ready and just repent and make it right with our brothers and sisters and coworkers and just anybody that we have grudges against. Just repent and, yeah, make things right. But today I'm drinking wild berry zinger tea, and to pair with that, I have these pecan spin wheels. The benefits of this wild berry zinger tea is that it helps to fight colds and the flu. It's great for anti-aging, and it may lower blood pressure. So before I eat, let's pray. Dear Gracious and Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this drink and food, for the help and nourishment of my body for Christ's sake, and I just ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with wisdom and understanding as I'm refreshed by your word. If it's your first time joining me today, please share, comment, like, and subscribe. And go get your coffee, tea, sip with me. I'm going to turn to Numbers 1. All right, chapter 1, verse 1 through 54. Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the tabernacle of meeting on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel by their families, by their houses according to the number, their father's houses according to the number of names, every male individually, from 20 years old and above, all who are able to go to war in Israel, your Aaron shall number them by their armies. And with you there will be a man from every tribe, each one of the head of his father's house. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you, from Reuben, Eleazar, the son of Sidor, from Simeon. Shemuel, the son of Zeridai, from Judah, Nashon, the son of Amadad, from Issachar, Nephtali, the son of Zur, from Zebulun, Eliab, the son of Helon, from the sons of Joseph, from Ephraim, Elishema, the son of Emmehud, and Manasseh, Gamiel, the son of Pedazar, from Benjamin, Abaddon, the son of Gedoni, and Dan, Ahiezer, the son of Amasadai. From Asher, Pegiel, the son of Okron. From Gad, Eliasaph, the son of Duel. From Naphtali, Ehiri, the son of Enan. These were the chosen ones of the congregation of the fathers' tribes, heads of the divisions of Israel. Then Moses and Aaron took these men who had been mentioned by name, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they recited their ancestry by families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, each one individually. As the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. Now the children of Reuben, Israel's oldest son, their genealogies of their families by their father's houses, according to the number of names, every male individually from 20 years old and above. All who were able to go to war, those who were numbered by the tribe of Reuben, were 46,500. From the children of Simeon, their, gener their genealogies by their families, their father's house of those who were numbered, according to the number of names, every male individually, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Simeon were 59,300. From the children of Gad, their genealogy by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Gad were 45,650. From the children of Judah, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Judah were 74,600. From the children of Essachar, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Issachar were 54,400. From the children of Zebulun, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Zebulun, 
were 57,400 from the sons of Joseph, the children of Ephraim, the genealogies of their families by their father's house, according to the number of names from 20 years old and above. All who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Ephraim, were 40,500 from the children of Manasseh, their genealogies by their families by their father's house, according to the number of names from 20 years old and above. All who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Manasseh, were 32,200. From the children of Benjamin, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Benjamin were 35,400. From the children of Dan, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Dan were 62,700. From the children of Asher, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Asher were 41,500. From the children of Naphtali, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Naphtali were 53,400. These are the ones who were numbered, whom Moses and Aaron numbered, with the leaders of Israel, 12 men, and each one representing his father's house. So all were numbered of the children of Israel by their father's houses, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war in Israel. All who were numbered were 603,550, and the Levites were not numbered among them by their father's tribe, as the Lord had spoken to Moses, saying, only the tribe of Levi you shall number, nor take a census with them among the children of Israel. But you shall appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, over its furnishings, and over all things that belong to it. They shall carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings. They shall attend to it and camp around the tabernacle. And when the tabernacle is to go forward, the Levites shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall set up the outer side of comes near shall be put to death. The children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every one by his own camp, every one his own standard according to their armies. But the Levites shall camp around the tabernacle of the testimony, that may be no wrath on the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall keep charge of the tabernacle of the testimony. Thus the children of Israel did, according to all that Moses commanded, all that the Lord commanded Moses, they did. Numbers chapter 2, 1 through 34. And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Every one of the children of Israel shall camp by its own standard. Beside the emblems of his father's house, they shall camp some distance from the tabernacle of meeting, on the east side toward the rising of the sun. Those on the standard of the forces with Judah shall camp according to their armies. And Nashon, the son of Amidad, shall be the leader of the children of Judah. And his armies was numbered at 74,600. Those who camp next to him shall be this tribe of Issachar, and Nathaniel, the son of Zur, shall be the leader of the children of Issachar. And the army was numbered at 54,400. Then comes the tribe of Zebulun, and Elab, the son of Helon, shall be the leader of the children of Zebulun, and his army was numbered at 57,400. All who were numbered according to their armies of the forces with Judah, 186,400, they shall be break camp first. On the south side shall be the standard of the forces of Reuben according to their armies, and the leader of the children of Reuben shall be Eliezer, the son of Sedor, and the army was numbered at 46,500. Those who came next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon, and the leader of the children of Simeon shall be Shemuel, the son of Zeridai, and the army was numbered at 59,300. Then comes the tribe of Gad, and the leader of the children of Gad shall be Elisha, the son of Rael, and his army was numbered at 45,650. All who were numbered according to their armies of the forces of Reuben, 151,450. They shall be the second to break camp, and the tabernacle of beating shall move out of the camp of the Levites in the middle of the camps as they camp. So they shall move out everyone in his place by their standards. On the west side shall be the standard of the forces of Ephraim, According to their armies, and the leader of the children of Ephraim shall be Elishema, the son of Amihad, and the army was numbered at 40,500. Next to him comes the tribe of Manasseh, and the leader of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamiel, the son of Peduzer, and the army was numbered at 32,200. 
Then comes the tribe of Benjamin, and the leader of the children of Benjamin shall be Adian, the son of Gidoni. And his army was numbered at 35,400. All who were numbered according to their armies of the forces of Ephraim, 108,100, they shall be the third to break camp. The standard of the forces with Dan shall be on the north side according to their armies, and the leader of the children of Dan shall be Ahiazar, the son of Emesadiah. And the army was numbered at 62,700. Those who camp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher, and the leader of the children of Asher shall be Pegiel, the son of Okran. And the army was numbered at 41,500. Then comes the tribe of Naphtali, and the leader of the children of Naphtali shall be Ahire, the son of Enon, and his army was numbered at 53,400. All who were numbered of the forces with Dan, 157,600, they shall break camp last with their standards. These are the ones who were numbered of the children of Israel by their father's houses. All who were numbered according to their armies of the forces were 603,550. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel, just as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So they camped by their standards, and they broke camp, each one by his family according to their father's houses. Now tomorrow will be on day 39 of Bible in one year, and I will be reading Numbers 3. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for tuning in and being here with me on Time with Tiffy. I hope you enjoyed the daily reading. Please remember to share, comment, like, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Time with Tiffy, where we sip on tea so flavory, eat treats so savory, and enjoy reading books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. Have a blessed day. Until next time.